we're going to start with the first startup, Merit Circle. And Merit Circle is doing, well, I mean, they are hitting the sweet spot at the right time. A DAO focused on developing the play to earn economy and they're also active in the metaverse. Well, so many incredible developments caught in one startup. Merit Circle, and with us today is Marco van den Heuvel, the CEO. Marco, very, very welcome. Hi, Jan, how are you? Nice to meet you and uh, thank you for the invitations. Marco, very warm welcome to the Dutch Blockchain Week. Great to have you with us today. Um, short introduction about yourself. Uh, how did you get started with uh, blockchain technology? I want something that's more exciting, more fun, that's more, you know, faster developing and, and there's just so much here. So, uh, yeah, I learned about Bitcoin and uh, soon after, I think in 2018, moved to San Francisco, which was back then the hub for cryptocurrency, right? So I uh, started networking there and started working in community management and marketing with blockchain startups. And I would say that's pretty much how my whole crypto uh, adventure kickstarted. So. Back to the Netherlands, and you started Merit Circle. What is Merit Circle about? Yeah, so uh, I think you did a pretty good introduction there. Merit Circle is a play to earn gaming DAO. So, what we do, I often explain that we work around three main pillars. Uh, the first one is being we're kind of seen as an, in, 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 well, an index fund, sorry, in the play to earn uh, and the metaverse category industry. So we invest in the best and the, the newest games, I would say, that uh, work with play to earn. At the same time, uh, we also got it. Yeah, at the same time, so besides investing in these projects, uh, we also have a lot of gamers that are involved with us. And so we invest in games and they get tokens or NFTs. Uh, and NFTs could be seen as the in game characters that you use to play these games. Uh, we give people from all over the world access to these games so that they can play with our NFTs. Uh, earn rewards through that themselves. And obviously Merit Circle earns some rewards. And the third pillar that I would like to refer to is more future music, like uh, things we're working towards. Uh, we're really looking forward to attracting traditional gamers to this industry uh, because the gaming industry is obviously one of the biggest around and we'd love to have more people in the crypto side of it. So we're really working hard on a platform. It's currently also a proposal around for the governance uh, DAO and the community. Uh, around building a next level gaming platform, I would almost call it, uh, to get more people involved in this industry. So yeah, it's, it's about gaming, investing, and yeah, putting these things together. Wow, really, really exciting stuff. And I mean, when we're looking at uh, the play to earn, it's, it's quite new in, in blockchain, right? Um, for people watching at home who have never heard of it, what is play to earn blockchain games? What can you shortly describe them? Yeah, good question. Uh, I think, you know, this all started years ago, I would say, outside of crypto. I mean, if I look at myself, I started gaming at a young age. And at some point, uh, point I learned that, well, I liked playing the game. I found the game economy is much more interesting. So I started to buy and sell in-game items for, for money, right? To earn more in-game. And I think that right now it shows that blockchain and cryptocurrency, they're the perfect solution for legitimizing that industry. Because now not just people have to interact with black markets to, to sell their in-game items and assets. Mm. They can actually use in-game markets places in which also the game developers earn a piece of the pie uh, in this industry. And so how I like to explain play to earn gaming is I like to call it play and earn instead of play to earn. Mm. I think right now in the cryptocurrency space, you see a lot of games that are being played by people from lower wage countries who like to earn rewards and actually play to earn. Uh, but where do we want to move to? We want to move towards attracting these gamers that I just mentioned, these are traditional gamers, where I think it's going to be play and earn, where you spend time in a game, you play the game, uh, you earn or you manage to find some rare items or characters or like swords, weapons, whatever you can think of to play the game. And these hold a value because it took you time to achieve these milestones, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're really going to a model where it's everyone has a piece of the pie. You add value, you receive value, and that's kind of how I would explain play and earn. But so the interesting thing you're really mentioning, I think in the Philippines, right? There's people that are earning a, a, a wage above an, a normal wage just by playing games, right? Xe Infinity is a great example there. Where is this money coming from? I mean, they're earning just money to play a game. Where is this money uh, coming from that is actually being earned by the players? 
Yeah, it, it's a very good question. I think there's models right now and models that we work towards. I think if you look at Axie Infinity, it definitely came with its challenges, but it's the most well-known cryptocurrency or play and earn game right now, uh, where if you want to play the game, you need three characters and these characters are called Axies, right? Yeah. Um, if you want to play the game, you have to buy these from the marketplace. And so this is pretty much where the first part is, uh, where the money comes in, but also what's a barrier. And so what we do at Merit Circle is we basically bought and we breed, because that's the thing too, you can breed these characters uh, to get more of them and to give access to these people in the Philippines so that they can play with it without having to pay for it themselves in advance. Mm -hmm. But where does the money come in? It's, it's they earn a reward and that's the SOP token. And this SOP token is used for breeding to basically pay for breeding to get more characters so that more people can play the game. And I think a big challenge here, what you see right now is, is the SOP price is tanking a little bit. It's decreasing in value because there's a lot of increase in circulation supply, like in supply of axes. Whereas you then fully rely on a model where there need to be more new game players uh, coming in. But what if you have an ecosystem in which this all translates back to uh, actually a kind of a loop where if you use your characters, they could also, for example, uh, die or, or you can play with them. You need new characters. It's kind of how you create a continuous cycle of creating value, but also having more value in the game and, and getting more money in this ecosystem. So. Wow. Yeah, really exciting stuff, especially, I mean, is this one of these new developments within blockchain technology that I didn't see coming? So, uh, I mean, it's really interesting to see how this also this ecosystem within the blockchain ecosystem is evolving so extremely fast. Um, another thing that you were touching on was uh, a DAO. That's also, I mean, it's not new, but I mean, it's, it's evolving quite rapidly. We see a lot of DAOs actually um, being started. We see a lot of funding getting into the, the DAO land. Landscape. Um, what are you doing exactly as Merit Circle with uh, the DAO? Yeah, also, uh, yeah, so Merit Circle is a play to earn gaming DAO. Uh, I explained a little bit the three pillars of investing, gaming, and the future of attracting traditional gamers to the DAO. But basically, it means it is, is it's community first, it is community driven. And so, if you look at the DAO and the ecosystem here for Merit Circle, there's one token called the MC token, the Merit Circle token. And basically, it has three functions, right? There's the first one, which is really utility. Uh, I mean, for governance. So if you have this token, even if you have only one MC, you can have a say in where is Merit Circle going? What do we want to do with uh, the games that we play, with the investments we make? Things like that. You really have anyone that can participate now in, in their favorite project, right? Then the second part is... Merit Circle is also kind of an, an, an index fund to play to the play to earn industry. Uh, we raised, or the DAO raised, $105 million, which was back then a new record. Um, and we used that to invest in operational NFTs, which are used to play the games, but we also invest in all of these new and, and games. And we see really exciting parties joining this space. Yeah. So if you have the MC token, there's a treasury attached to it that basically holds all the value in the ecosystem. And as we invest and as we grow, it becomes more valuable. And so there's the third utility for MC token, which is staking through which people basically provide liquidity on a DEX, uh, which is favorable for trading, or they simply stake their MC token itself. You get a reward for doing so, for being a part of the uh, ecosystem. Wow. And so this is kind of what a DAO is and how it functions. It's, it's decentralized. Everyone decides what happens and yeah. there's a value in this whole ecosystem. Wow, you're, you're mentioning so many things like NFTs, uh, tokenization, all the things. And I'm just curious, I mean, with all the new developments, um, are you, you're based in the Netherlands, right? I mean, how does the regulation look like for you? Are you not have, facing any hurdles actually in a regulatory uh, landscape? Yeah, I mean, it, it is a challenge. I think what we learn is that even the governments themselves, not just in the Netherlands, we work internationally, <laughs> find it very difficult to deal with this, right? Because there is not one centralized point that you go to to ask your questions or to talk with uh, yeah. about uh, company side of things. But if what I also said, it's also a decentralized whole, right? Everyone decides what happens. And so it's kind of a gray area in all sorts of ways where you're doing a lot of lobbying. We have, uh, I think that's my job as a CEO is to make sure we have the right people at the right place. 
Uh, we have a good legal team. We have good legal advisors. We do lobbying and we're very open to that conversation on, hey, what should this look like in the future? And what does it look like right now? Right now? Yeah. And I think for, at this point for us, we make sure we're compliant in, in any way that is possible right now. And we were focused on growing and building the space. And I think if there are any backlashes, like I said, we're open and transparent and happy to talk. So uh, important. Yeah, very important. And also as Blockchain Netherlands, we're working hard on the, the lobby part actually to get connected with the, the, the lawmakers actually to, to discuss these items because new technologies like DAOs and NFTs are so new. You know, they're still figuring out, of course, like, you know, what is what are the implications as a forum? So um, curious, last question um, is, of course, yeah, I mean, all these exciting developments that you just described, what will the next year bring Mary Circle? Really curious to learn. What, what were, are you going to, uh, do you have like a snapshot of what you're going to launch or what you're going to develop or? Absolutely, yeah. I think we're right now focused on one of the most exciting things that I've at least worked on in my life. Um, we currently have a proposal going uh, that is live, that is being voted on right now by the community. So far in the favor, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But it basically describes that we want to build this next level gaming platform that we have in mind. And we believe that that platform could be the access of people that want to get into the play to earn industry. So I'm talking being able to play different games within the ecosystem, educational content, uh, insights in your rewards, but also everything that you're doing. Like it's a very broad platform that we're building. And I think, you know, that's definitely what I'm most excited about, uh, what, what, what for Merit Circle is. But at the same time, we're also so actively talking to AAA game studios that are now coming into this space. And we happily guide them, guide them in how you join this space even. What is play to earn gaming? How could you maybe involve it in your model? And uh, I think that part is also very exciting, just how new it is, how big it is, and how big it's going to be. So. It'll be indeed, yeah, wow, so really exciting stuff. We probably will hear soon a lot more from your side. Uh, Marco van Heuvel, Merit Circle, thank you so much for, for joining us. We're really looking forward to um, yeah, what will happen in the upcoming year. We're going to follow you. We'll probably see you back at one of our next events. So, uh, but for now, take care and uh, good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.